okay the annotation is done and now successfully uh, our system knows that we are dealing with panache you can see the moment you put panache here extend the panache class here and also have the panache entity here the annotation here uh, we have two imports that are have auto generated of course uh, trying to import hibernate uh, or um, uh, panache and then importing panache entity a file or package and also importing jakarta and then the persistent uh, persistence and entity automatically it will do that so now that we are inside the file let's go ahead and look at uh, modeling our data just like we said we're going to be creating columns here so this is how we create columns Then uh, the first column, we say it's going to be a number, a shop item number. And this will be public. Okay, in the public. We are now declaring fields, or you can call them columns in our DB. Mm -hmm. Public. Uh, that number is a mix up of uh, something like uh, numbers and also uh, some text or some strings. So meaning that it's going to be a string, once you have that, then you have a data type, which is a string. And we're going to be calling it number. Okay. Okay, so we can now add another, which is uh, after the number, we can go to uh, probably the title, which is the name of the item. Kind of do this same thing call public yeah, it's also a string oh, you don't have space here sorry and this will be uh, you can call it title Let's go ahead and have uh, probably the description. Just copy this and paste it here. And description is also a string, so we just have to change this. Mm -hmm. it does. Mm, what did we miss? What do we have here? category so let's go ahead and put category it's also a string mm, what else you can uh, include the uh, So we have the number, category, title, description. We have the price and image. But uh, the price is a little bit different because uh, it's not a string. So yes, we have the price here, but the data type is not a string. So we're using a big uh, decimal. And in the database it will be, of course, stored as a decimal. Yeah, we just call it big decimal. The reason we're saying big decimal, uh, sometimes uh, prices can have uh, some decimal points. So you can't say a whole number, which is an integer, or you can say string, because they're just numbers. But uh, you can say boolean, which is actually limited in the length of a, a character and bytes. So when you say big string, big decimal, at least it's a kind of, it takes care of the decimal point apart having a decimal point and also a very big uh, being able to have a very big uh, number or big decimal number so we said uh, now we're remaining with an image which happens to be a string because we're just storing an image URL now after this we're done modeling our shop item so this is all the shop item is going to be taken uh, for purposes of Panache if you're dealing with Quarkus we normally uh, after this uh, normally put uh, an empty uh, you can call it an empty constructor 
in Quarkus, it's a no behavior. So just like we did here, you can see it's normal behavior to have an empty uh, constructor because it has its role, but here we didn't use it though it's not that much needed. But we should, in purpose, in any case, we need it now uh, when we're doing our services. We shall come back and do that uh, uh, empty uh, constructor, then also uh, do the getters and setters. So we we'll probably want to have the, um, the date, which is the creation date. Let's go ahead and uh, do our creation date. Okay. Creation date is uh, in formats of uh, well, we want to make a date, a local date now. A local date now. Uh, there are so many purposes, I mean, uh, uh, types local date time which is a common one but we just want to use local date and then we call it creation date as you name your variables use camo case right now the way you name variables the name starts with a small letter and, and uh, every uh, every other word that falls in between must start with a capital letter but the first word starts with a small letter but remember now the format of the date is uh, additional let us uh, convert this to a json a json of yeah date format that's what we need and its format like we saw here is actually the format of a year month and date we're going to be start with the a uh, year, month, and then day. That's the format we need here. Give the value. Maybe small letters. Um, we have year. Uh, these are capital letters. Month and date. That's it. What else? As you see, the getters and setters shall be coming back later. Yeah, can do them with small letters, but I think it's preferably uh, calculators. It would be the best to leave them in calculators. So that's it. So we now we are now done modeling our shop item. And once you're done with shop item, you can now next story we shall be going ahead to model our user how the user is going to be looking. So that's all guys, I'll see you in the next tutorial.